Back at it. February the 7th, 2021. Let's get into it. Um, this video is going to be about uh, the potential MVP for the uh, Super Bowl this year. I've been looking at Leonard Fournette. We see Leonard Fournette is born on January the 18th. So his birthday is 118 or 811. We know that date has something to do with the election as a day that Biden selected Harris, which we called that back in April of last year. We see the Chiefs expect to see Leonard Fournette featured in Super Bowl LV. So we see the, the headlines that are um, circulating about Leonard Fournette. The other team is, is, is aware that it's something going to happen with this guy. Uh, and then they go into detail here. They say the uh, the first time with Kansas City uh, beat them, he was a footnote. He really wasn't involved in the game. But they expect that they're going to have to deal with this guy. And uh, then you see other narratives about Leonard Fournette spoke Super Bowl into existence with 2014 tweet. And we know that was seven years ago. The Super Bowl is on the seven. It's like, how can anybody think Tampa Bay is not going to win? It's like, they had the Super Bowl in the second last year. It's going to be on the seventh this year. And Tom Brady can get his seventh win. It's just like, too, it makes too much sense that they're going to win. It's in Florida. He's got home field advantage. Everything is in his favor. If you ever bet against Tom Brady for the Super Bowl, you're crazy. Because the league is scripted around this guy. It just doesn't make sense how he's getting a cakewalk. And I can guarantee that Mahomes is going to be running for his life in this game. He don't have a line. It's just fake. And then they call him Leonard Fournette, the secret weapon, and playoff Lenny. And, you know, they got these these uh, these terms that they came up for this guy. And when I saw that about the secret weapon, I was thinking, like, because I was already leaning on this guy being the, the MVP because of his number, number 28. But I thought about the movie Leonard Part six, Leonard Six with Bill Cosby. You know, his name's Leonard Fournette, and this is Leonard Six. And, you know, Leonard Six movie came out, I think the year was 1967. And, um, you know, that was a long, long time ago. 67, what, 32, 50, like 53 years ago. Like, that was a long time ago, and I can see how this is synced up, and it does have something to do with the movie Leonard Six, because if this guy gets the MVP, then, I mean, he's going to be, you know, on record and in history for getting the MVP in, in, in this Super Bowl, and, and his name's Leonard Fournette the third. you know, he's the third, this is Leonard Six, it's like three times two is six, it's like all mathematical and uh, numerical. You know, a lot of people, they like to say gematria and whatnot. And it's like, man, this is this is uh, numerology. This is numbers. It's like when you're using words that have your mind thinking shit differently, you don't really interpret and, and, and process the logic. And then we do the numerology on this name. It's 103 and four ciphers. And we know 103 is the 27th prime number. And today is a 2-7 day. Have mercy. And, you know... When the Tampa Bay coach could get his 72nd win today. It's all scripted for Tampa Bay. It's like you couldn't think. I wouldn't think anything different than that. Looking at the numbers. You know, when I uh, deciphered the Super Bowl, I used a visual. And it was, you know, it was trickery in the visual. Because they had Tom Brady all the way in the back. And really, that's the front, I guess. You know, it was reverse logic. But number 28. The, the number 28. He wears number 28. Number 28 is the seventh triangular number. Okay, this is a sequence of all the triangular numbers. One is the first, three is the second, six is the third, ten is the fourth, fifteen is the fifth, twenty-one is the sixth, and twenty-eight is the seventh. And then we see twenty-eight on the periodic table. It's nickel. And when you say nickel, we're talking about an element, nickel. And, you know, when we talk about currency and, and, and the relation of numbers, uh, nickel is a five cents. It's five. So... It just so happens that uh, Leonard Fournette has 23 touchdowns. If he gets five touchdowns in this game, he'll have 28 like his number. And then that will solidify him as getting that MVP. He'll be the eighth running back to get the MVP in NFL history to get a Super Bowl MVP, the eighth. It's 21 days after his birthday. 21 is a six Fibonacci number. It's the eight triangular number. So it's another triangular relationship with him winning the MVP in the Super Bowl. You know, they had $5,000 on the line for this guy. It went down to $3,300, but 
I mean, you put a dollar or a couple dollars, ten dollars on this guy to win MVP because it does look like everything is lined up. Unless it's some kind of elaborate bet trap, everything's lined up for T Tampa Bay and Tom Brady to get his seventh ring on the seventh. It's just, I mean, it's just too fake and scripted. You know, just like the Chiefs last year was fake and scripted. You know, it's amazing how they have people thinking that the Chiefs and Pat Mahomes have a chance to beat Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. It doesn't make sense, man. This guy always wins and shit. Plus, he's 43, which is a seven. It's too many sevens. And it would be too easy to say, yeah, he's going to get the MVP, too. It's like, damn, he's going to get every damn thing. He's already going to get a seven ring. Um, so I'm going with Fournette, 28, number 28, the seven triangle number. Super Bowl MVP 55, we know Super Bowl 55, the 55 number is the 10th, uh, Fibonacci number is the 10th triangle number, we see Tyree Kill, we see the other guy, number 10, featured, it's just corny, scripted, all mathematical, numerical, scripted by the numbers, we know it's it's rigged, and it's like, if, we, if we're if we right about this, then we know who's going to get the MVP, and we're going to win uh, a, a good, you know, profit on this today, that we can roll into some crypto, have a nice day. And let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and share and subscribe to the channel. It's like this is a, a very small channel. It's like I'm trying to put do a push to grow this channel so we can start doing live chats. We can start going more detail and more depth about these things. And, you know, the channel needs your, your support. It needs to, to have likes on every video because people look at these kind of things and that will make them want to subscribe so we could grow the channel. It's something that we could do together and I appreciate your support and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.